hypoglycemia, low blood glucose. The learning objectives for this section are to understand prevention of low blood glucose, symptoms of low blood glucose, treatment of low blood glucose, management of severe low blood glucose. Hypoglycemia or low blood glucose is a blood glucose reading of 4.0 millimoles per liter or less with or without symptoms. The onset is sudden and must be treated immediately. It may progress to unconsciousness or seizure if not treated. Symptoms are usually relieved with the intake of fast-acting carbohydrate. Carbohydrate is a source of energy for the body which raises blood glucose level. If a student complains of symptoms of feeling low, then the blood glucose should be monitored using their meter. If they don't have their meter available, you should proceed with treatment. It is better to treat if you are unsure than not to treat. If you treat and the blood glucose was not low, it will not be harmful to the child. The causes of hypoglycemia include more exercise than usual, not eating a meal or snack on time, skipping or omitting part of a meal or snack, insulin dose not matching the food they eat, and there are some episodes of hypoglycemia that just cannot be explained. A low blo blood glucose can occur at any time of day. It is important to be prepared to treat an unexpected low blood glucose at any time. For example, if the child is outside playing or having gym, they may be predisposed to having a low blood glucose resulting from the extra activity. The common signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia include hunger, shaky, weak, tired, sweaty, mood or sudden change in behavior, dizzy, confusion. Most children will recognize when they are low. Symptoms will vary from one child to the next. Some children may not recognize when they are low and parents can let you know how they identify that their child is having a low blood glucose. When children are starting school or new to your classroom, it would be beneficial to ask the parent how the child usually communicates a low blood glucose. This should be recorded and made known to any teacher responsible for the child. For example, some children may say their belly hurts when they have a low blood glucose. It is not uncommon for a younger child to ignore their symptoms of low blood glucose if they are involved in an activity. The teacher should be alert to any obvious signs of low blood glucose. Treatment for hypoglycemia. Have the child check blood glucose to confirm hypoglycemia, if able. Students should never leave the classroom alone with hypoglycemia. The ideal would be to treat in the classroom. If unable to test blood glucose and the student feels low, treat immediately. If the student has difficulty taking treatment by mouth, call 911 and stay with the student until help arrives. It is important to stress that the child should not leave the classroom alone or be left alone if reporting low blood glucose. The blood glucose may continue to drop, resulting in confusion, and the child may not be able to navigate the school. If a teacher is unable to accompany the student to treat the low blood glucose, another responsible student should accompany the student with the diabetes. If treatment is available in the classroom, it would be best to treat the low blood glucose without testing at this time. The idea would be to test and treat in the classroom to avoid deterioration of symptoms. If the teacher observes a pattern of low blood glucose events, the parent caregiver should be informed to allow for insulin adjustment. Treatment for hypoglycemia. Give 15 grams of rapid-acting carbohydrate. Sources of rapid-acting carbohydrate include four DEX-4 tablets, two to three glucose tablets, one half cup, 125 mils of fruit juice, one half cup, 125 mils of regular pop, three teaspoons of sugar, or three small packets. Other alternative choices of 15 grams of carbohydrate can be used but would not be recommended as the first choice of treatment for hypoglycemia. Parents will be required to provide the school with any of the above sources of rapid acting carbohydrate for younger children. Older children may carry their own treatment. Wait 15 minutes and have the student retest the blood glucose. Do not resume physical activity until retest is above 4.0 and never leave a child alone until the blood glucose is above 4.0. It is suggested that provisions for treatment of hypoglycemia in younger children should be kept in speci specified locations, example, classroom, gym, and office. 
If the blood glucose is still less than 4.0 millimoles per liter, repeat the 15 grams of rapid-acting carbohydrate. If the meal or snack is more than one hour away, the student will require an additional snack for any episodes of hypoglycemia. If a second treatment for hypoglycemia is required, the parent should be notified. The extra snack for hypoglycemia should be given as soon as the blood glucose is over four, whether it is with the first or second treatment of hypoglycemia. Additional snacks should contain a minimum of 15 grams of slower acting carbohydrate, and some examples include granola bar, crackers, fruit, yogurt. Parents will provide additional snacks and identify the amount to use to treat the low blood glucose. Severe hypoglycemia. This occurs when the child is either unresponsive, unconscious, or having a seizure. Place a student on their side and have someone call 911. If possible, test the blood glucose. Do not leave the student alone until help arrives. After calling 911, the parent or caregiver should be notified. The student should be never left unattended while experiencing a low blood glucose. At home, the parents have an emergency kit with glucagon. They would give the glucagon in this situation. In some schools, there may be staff who will administer glucagon, but it's not a requirement of the school at this time. Remember, do not give food or drink if the student is unconscious, having a seizure, or unable to swallow. Do roll the student to his or her side, call 911, contact the parent or caregiver, and remain with the child until help arrives. Prevention of hypoglycemia. Consult with the parent or caregiver when snack or meal or physical activity times must be changed. Discuss with the parent what extra testing or snacks should be necessary to safely participate in gym, class, or sporting events. Notify parents if there is a pattern of low blood glucose on gym days or with other activities. Often parents will request snacks be given outside scheduled snack time to prevent hypoglycemia. Snack times often coincide with peaking insulin action. Change in school routine must be communicated with parents as a plan may be necessary to prevent hypoglycemia. Hyperglycemia or high blood glucose. Hyperglycemia is not always caused by extra food or poor diabetes management. Children with diabetes will have high blood glucose at times. The child should be allowed to eat their usual meal or snack. If the student is feeling well, no treatment is required. Some students will have additional insulin for elevated blood glucose as part of their plan. Students with high blood glucose will be thirsty and may require frequent trips to the washroom. Extra fluids should not be restricted. Some students will have additional insulin for elevated blood glucose as part of their daily diabetes insulin regime and should be allowed to administer insulin if they are able. Supervision of insulin administration should be determined at the start of the school year. Some parents may wish to be called to come to the school to administer the insulin. If feeling unwell with high blood glucose, such as nausea, vomiting, or abdominal cramps, the parent or caregiver should be contacted, as this may be a sign the child is becoming very ill from their diabetes, and the parent or caregiver should be contacted to test for ketones. Exercise will lower the blood glucose, but it is not recommended as a treatment for high blood glucose. If ketones are present with the high blood glucose, exercise will make more ketones and the child could become sick. Asking a child to exercise when other students are not also makes them feel very different from their peers. It is not recommended that a student be sent to the gym to exercise as it will make the student feel different from their peers and could result in a hypoglycemic event later. The child will have received insulin that works at different times of the day and together with exercise may cause a hypoglycemic event. In the event that the blood glucose is repeatedly high during a particular time of day, the parent should be informed for insulin adjustment.